Welcome you all for my channel Electrical Engineering Simplified. In this video, I am going to explain important MCQs in electrical measurements and instrumentation. Question number 1. Match the following list 1 with list 2 using codes. A. Closeness with which an instrument reading approaches the true value that is known as accuracy. 3. A measure of the reproducibility of the measurement is known as precision. 4. The ratio of output signal or response of the instrument to a change of output or measured value that is known as sensitivity. The smallest change in the measured value in which the instrument will respond that is known as resolution 2. Option E is the correct answer. 2. A 0 to 150 volt voltmeter has a guaranteed accuracy of 1% Huffle scale reading. The voltage measured by this instrument is 83 volt. The limiting error in present will be. So first of all, we are going to find out the error voltage for the full scale reading. That is 150 into the error is 1 percentage. So 1.5. So how to find out the limiting error? The limiting error that is equal to 1.5 divided by 83 into 100. The answer is 1.83 percentage. Option B is the correct answer. 3. Which of the following meters has the best accuracy? The moving coil meter has the best accuracy than all other types of meter. Other name of this is permanent magnet moving coil meter. Next, AC current cannot be measured directly by moving coil ammeter because Moving coil ammeter which is used to measure DC current only. Which of the following instruments will read true RMS value irrespective of the signal waveform? A. Moving coil meter. B. Moving iron meter. C. Electronic meter. D. Thermocouple meter. Thermocouple meter is a correct answer. 6. Which of the following is not a current meter? Moving coil meter is a current meter. B. Hot wire type meter is a current meter. Thermocouple meter also a current meter. The answer is none of these. Next, which of the following meters cannot measure DC? The answer is rectifier type moving coil meter. Other meters are used to measure DC. The first meter, moving coil meter which is used to measure DC. Dynamo meter used to measure DC and AC. Moving iron meter also measure DC and AC but rectifier type moving coil meter which is used to measure AC only. 8. Which of the following meters cannot measure both DC as well as AC? Here the induction type meter is not measured both DC as well as AC. It can be used to measure AC only. Next. The internal resistance of a voltmeter should be very high in order to have minimum current through the meter. Because this is a voltmeter, there should be minimum current through the meter, then only it will give a correct voltage. Next, the internal resistance of the ammeter should be very low in order to have. That is, minimum effect on the current in the circuit. Option D is correct. 11. The multiplier and the meter movement in a voltmeter are always in. See in this diagram, this is the multiplier and this is meter movement. It's always connected in series. Option B is correct. A shunt resistance in the current meter is a resistance connected across the meter to increase the range. Option B is the correct answer. Next, the accurate ammeter must have resistance of very low value that is the correct answer. Next, the resistance of a thermistor increases with increase in temperature wrong, decreases with increase in, increase in temperature that is correct because thermistor has a negative temperature coefficient. Next, a VTVM measure current directly. The answer is none of these is a correct answer. Next, regarding VTVM, which of the following statement is incorrect? The first one is correct. It is usually plugged into a power line also correct. It cannot measure current directly. That is also correct. And the last one is wrong. That is option D is the wrong answer. Next, 
DVM is the abbreviation of which of the following? That is option A, digital voltmeter. That is the correct answer. Next, ionic wind voltmeter is used for measuring high voltage. Normally, high voltage is measured by ionic wind voltmeter. Next, series connection Q meter is used for measuring low impedance component. That is the correct answer. Next, a DVM measures average value. Option A is the correct answer. Thank you. Have a nice day.